We set up our development environment. So let us now create our first background job. And that is going to be a fire and forget job. For that, let's go to Visual Studio. In here, let us create a new API endpoint. And that's going to be an HTTP post. Then next, we are going to define the route. And the route is going to be the action name. So for that, inside parentheses, then inside double quotes, I'll write inside square brackets, I'll write action. Which means that after the controller name, we need to write the action name to call this API endpoint. Next, let us write public I action result. We are going to name this action welcome. And the reason for this name is because we are creating a fire and forget job. And we have said that the fire and forget jobs are jobs that are executed only one time. And the case would be when the user signs up for the first time and we send to them a welcome email. So now let us write in here background job. Let us import the necessary namespace and that's going to be the hang fire. So using hang fire. And then I'm going to use the nq method. So nq. I'll not pass any parameters in here, so I'll just then write that goes to, and you are going to call a method named send welcome email. Then we pass as a parameter welcome to our app. Let us create this method. So in here, I'll just write private void send welcome email it takes as a parameter a text or so string text and it will simply just console dot write line and then takes as a parameter the text so let us save the changes and we get an error because we need to return a message so i'll just write in here return okay welcome email sent to the user. When you use the NQ method to create a fire and forget job, you can also get the job ID. For that, let us just write in here var job ID is equal to background job dot NQ and what we just wrote. So let us modify the OK response. In here, I'll just write job ID. So job ID and pass as a parameter the job ID. And I'll just write in your comma, the welcome email sent to the user. So let us now save the changes and run the application. And here we can see the dashboard. So let us copy the URL. And we are going to use Postman to send a post request. So in here, I'll just create a request. I'll paste this URL and then after hang fire, I'll use the action name, which is welcome. I'll change the request type from get to post and click the send button. And in here we see that we are getting a 404 error, which means the API endpoint was not found. So let us go back to our API and see what we are missing. In here, let us stop the application. So we are trying to access an API endpoint, but we have not provided API in the route. So let us run in line 12 API slash controller. And then we are going to use the action name, which is the welcome. I've put a breakpoint in here just so we know when we reach this API endpoint. And we can remove the first API endpoint since we are not going to use that one. So I'll just remove this line as well. Save the changes and run the app. So we see that the app ran successfully. We have the real time graph and the history graph. So let us go to Postman and make another request. In here, simply add API and then slash hang fire controller, the welcome action result, and click the send button. So now we see that we reached a breakpoint. Let us put the breakpoint in the return, remove it from here, and press continue. We get an exception which says that the only public methods can be invoked in the background. So I'll just continue the app. We get an exception. Let us go to our dashboard and see what happened. In the dashboard, if you go to jobs, we see that nothing happened because we didn't create any jobs just yet. So 
I'll just stop the app. Then in here, change the private to public. Save the changes and run the app one more time. Here we have the dashboard. Let's go back to Postman. In here, I'll click the send button one more time. So now we see that the job was created and we have the job ID of one. I'll just remove the breakpoint and click continue. We get the success message in here. Now let us go back to the dashboard. And in here, in real time, we can see that we created a job which succeeded. Now, if you want to see the job details, you can basically go to jobs. And here in the succeeded, we are going to see the job that just ran, which was the send welcome email method. This is the total duration, and it succeeded a few seconds ago. And here we can see that the job ID was one, and we debug that value. So let us click on the ID. And here you can get more details like code, what was the current culture, when it succeeded, when it was being processed, when it was enqueued, and when it was created. Let us go to Postman one more time. I'll just position the Postman on the right. And then keep the dashboard on the left. I'll go to the hang fire dashboard. And then execute this request one more time. So we see that it succeeded. And here we can see in real time the job. Let's try it one more time. We see that it succeeded again. And we can see it in here in real time. If we go in here to the jobs, we're going to see that we have now three jobs that succeeded.